Ah, oh, finally. Got my run in, as Dr. Romano suggested. Now I'll offer some donuts. No studying today. Taking a break. All this studying. It's the holidays. I'm going to need some time off. Oh, hi, Dr. Romano. Uh, I was just going to get some donuts. Could I bring you back one? I think we should do a biology question, my corpulent friend. That can very well land in the dad, so why don't we stick to the academics? Well, I did my run today, Dr. A, Romano. We got a question here that could very well land um, on the dad exam. Let's have a look. It says that a woman is a carrier of a sex-linked recessive disease. Her husband has the disease. What is the probability that their first child is a girl who also has the disease? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to denote the woman as XX and the man as XY. And I'm going to put a little X on the woman because she's a carrier, so she only has one copy of the bad gene. And the man obviously has a single copy because he only has one X chromosome. And we call him hemizygous. He is hemizygous. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a carrier woman who is X with a little dot on it, X with X dot Y, and we're going to do the Punnett square. And as you can see the result of the Punnett square, we're going to get a girl who has the disease. Notice she needs both copies to have the disease if it's sex-linked recessive. Most X-linked or sex-linked diseases are recessive. If you look at the next one, you have a man or a boy who is diseased. This boy is normal, and this girl is a carrier. So of the girls, as you can see, 50% of the girls have the disease, of the girls, 50%, and 50% are carriers. But you gotta be careful here because it says, what is the probability that first child is a girl, that's probability one, and who has the disease? So there's actually two probabilities. To be a girl and have a disease, we're going to take into both into, into account those two probabilities. So to be a girl or a boy, you have a one out of two chance. So it's a half to be a girl, a half to have the disease. Multiplying the two probabilities together, you get one fourth or there's a 25% chance. Absolutely a sure bet for the DAT. Make sure you go in knowing the problem just like this. In my biology notes, which will be out very soon, um, you'll see a whole bunch of problems that I wrote up for you similar to this and um, you'll have a lot of fun with them. But this is how you do a sex-linked disease. Okay, that wraps it up. Thank um, you, Dr. Romano. You sure you don't want a donut? Oh, good. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye, Doc. Dr. Romano, what's this? Wow, this looks like a dinosaur. When did the dinosaurs live, Dr. Romano? Do I need to know anything about that dinosaur As a for of the death? You do need to know something about a dinosaur. You really should know the era that the dinosaurs came in, and that would be what's called the Mesozoic Era. The Mesozoic Era is the age of the dinosaurs, and it was divided into three periods. Um, we don't really need to know all the periods, but one of them you probably heard of, the Jurassic period. But like Jurassic Park? Absolutely. Like That was one of the periods in which dinosaurs were seen. I but like that movie. Good for you. But the era was the Mesozoic era. Okay, good day to you. Dr. Romano, good day to you, sir. Can I have this dinosaur? Good day, sir.